obviously it's it's disappointing the uh, the start. They were very very physical with us. They took us out of our stuff. Um, you know, it took us a while to react. You know, credit to our guys. They they battled back. Um, you know, Mark was. You know, what can you say? Spectacular. I I don't know if I've ever had somebody get whatever it was, 26 and 16 and five assists and no turnovers. Um, you know, it's, uh, he was, he's told us over and over how thankful he didn't even get to go home for Christmas because his family had COVID. Um, you know, he's had the maturity to still deal with it and uh, stay here and, and stay focused to he's, he, you know, I, I can't say enough. I appreciate him. He was the one that, stood up to them. If he's not in there in the first half, we're really in trouble. Um, you know, some guys stepped up in the second half and uh, we took it at him a little bit and, and gave ourselves a chance. Obviously, Nigel Ishits the bomb to tie it. We couldn't get the stop. And then Nigel has a, you know, we actually executed what we were trying to do. I know it was a long shot, but we've seen him make it before. Um, you needed that one to go if you're going to win close games on the road, you needed somebody to make a big shot, a big play. And uh, we just, uh, just didn't do it. Uh, uh, the offensive rebounds was just, uh, you know, it was the biggest difference. We had seven shutouts in a row in the second half, got us back in the game. And then they missed at least three or four times where they went and got that second chance and then ended up scoring uh, down the stretch. And those, those were, we went small, because uh, they went small, we knew if they didn't have their guy, we didn't have our guy. Um, you know, we thought they may go small when, once we, you know, found out in the locker room before the game who was not going to play. Uh, but uh, you know, we got it. We got to get some guys to step up and get some rebounds and come back to the basketball. So uh, now you, it's just part of our league. The the big message is, you know, obviously we got to be tougher. Um, two, we, it's mental toughness now coming back. It, win or lose, you still got to come back. You got to. Every game's going to be a tough one. We got obviously Texas on Tuesday, uh, uh, top twenty team could be top fifteen. I don't know. We'll see what happens. Uh, you know, but we're going to have to. We're going to have to be special, and we're going to have to have everybody give us something. A few weeks ago, we were happy with the bigs. Um, not much from our bigs today. Uh, catching, finishing rebounding, whatever. So we, you know, we got to get more out of them if we're going to move forward as a, as a group. Thank you, coach. Uh, first question to Michael Collins. Yeah, Bruce, I think it was 18, eight and second champ chance points. Do you expect to rebound better even when you go small like you did? Well, obviously Mark got a lot of rebounds. We needed somebody else to come back and get some rebounds for us. Um, and, and, you know, I did, so it's been, been pretty good. good. Our guards have been pretty good. Rebounding. But they got a spread. They isolated us. You know, they made us help. And they had a couple guys crash. And, and you know, you know, it's, 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 it was the difference in the game. They've been pretty good on the boards. And I would not say that's one of their strengths. But tonight it was a difference maker. And how did they take you out of your flow in the early early part of the game? But they're very the physical with us on the dribble. They switched everything. Uh, you know, they did a good job to roller uh, and, and just bodied us and, and didn't let us get the, you know, the easy drives or the open shots or they, you know, they ice ball screens, they switch things, they, you know, just didn't get us, uh, we didn't do a very good job, but we had some layups too, you got to remember that. Uh, we're, we're, we're at the hoop, we had a couple of easy ones we missed, a couple of little tougher ones we missed. Now you get a few of those to go down, but that's been the story of our whole season. When you study our our, our, um, our stats, you know, to we go ten for twenty-two for three, but you know, not very good in, in the paint. So, uh, you know, we we just got to we got to be understand you you can't the little things setting up a cut, reading the cut, being strong with the ball. All those things are, are – this is big in club basketball. It's the best league in the country. Um, and, and you're going to have to – you're going to have to step it up. We got them coming our place. It's a long way away. Uh, but right now, all we can worry about is Texas. And you probably expect Gibson to kind of get his, but Harkless goes off for 21. Were those just kind of effort plays by him? Uh, yeah, he hit a couple of tough threes. Uh, he's very aggressive. He's played old. You know, he's older. He, he loves it. He loves the opportunity. He's, 
Um, you know, he made some, you know, the three kind of caught us, you know, surprised us a little bit. But, you know, we talked about no short closeouts, take them, put it on the floor, whether it was Gibson or him, um, you know, and, and and then we, you know, and they, again, credit to them, they got us in positions. ISO just got mismatches, uh, got in the paint and made us help and, you know, took advantage of things. Thank you, Bruce. Um, Next question to Kellis Robinette. Hey, Bruce, Mark mentioned that uh, at least from a player's perspective, they were going to really focus on starting, getting off the faster starts, starting against Texas. Is there anything as a coach you can do to encourage that during practice? How do you go about doing that? I, you know, I, I we talked a little bit about it as a staff. Um, you know, I, I the execution, the, you know, today I tried to run a couple plays for Nigel. Usually I'm trying to get some other guys going and uh, take advantage of them. And I thought, yeah, we got to get Nigel, get him, get him off. And, but they were very good. You know, they were physical. They switched stuff and, um, you know, just didn't let him. They, they bodied him and made it tough on him first half. I thought second half he reacted a little better. Uh, but it's, you know, I, I guess the starts of practice, we got to, Maybe just jump into it and and make it competitive right from the beginning. Uh, you know, you warm up in games, you got to warm up in practice too. But maybe we have to do competitive drills to start the practice just to get the juices flowing. And uh, how long would you anticipate Marquise being out of the lineup? Don't know. Uh, a lot depends on the Big Twelve doctors. What uh, you know, they met on Thursday. Obviously, the holidays set things back. They're coming up with a, a, a new protocol. A lot of leaks have done it. Um, when I've talked to our doctor, Dr. Goro, who has been very influential and given a lot of time the last two years, uh, he said they don't want to make a mistake and have to change it. He mentioned that one of the leagues already had made an announcement, but now they're going to change their protocol. So uh, I think they're, you know, the CDC keeps, you know, came out with something, what was the 27th? Uh, some of the teams jumped on, the NBA jumped on, NFL jumped on. Um, so we'll, we'll see. Uh, Marquise is, is fine. I think I talked to Porter, Coach Mosier. He said their guys are fine. Uh, but, uh, you know, we got to go through whatever they put in front of us. And um, obviously, I, don't, I hope it's not 10 days. Uh, if they can get it to five or seven, obviously, it would help us get them back a little sooner. All right, thanks, Bruce. Yeah. Uh, next question to Dylan Sherwood. Yeah, Bruce, uh, you know, you brought in Mark, uh, you know, in the off season. You know, how big was it for him to have his leadership? And, you know, he's played at two other Power Five schools before he came here. You know, just how big was he tonight? And just having that experience playing at, at the Power Five level. I don't know where it ranks in history, but I, like I said, I'm not sure I've had many players. Glenn Robinson, some guys like that have had nights like that. Glenn, Glenn kind of lived that way. He led the country in scoring and rebounding. It was a little different, but this is a guard that's rebounding. Not only that, five assists, no turnovers. Uh, you know, just did a lot of different things for us. And uh, again, I, I told our radio people, he appreciates being here. He tells us, I can't tell you how many times he tells us that. And he appreciates the opportunity, and uh, he he didn't as he didn't get as I said earlier he didn't get to go home for Christmas, but you know some guys that would put him in the tank, and but with him, he said I'm fine, coach. I I'll Facetime with my family. I'll play video games with my brother and sister, and uh, he came back with a great attitude and uh, played with good energy. He again, you know we've talked to him. You don't get many of these opportunities, and. Uh, you know, it's just, for him, it's the last year. They're not going to give him another COVID year. So uh, take advantage of it. I thought Mike McGurl was, did uh, some good things for us. And, uh, you know, slowly but surely getting some confidence back. And hopefully uh, we can get him and some other guys playing better. And how do you feel like Nigel did in the second half? You know, he was only held at two points. But just were they just feeding off what Mark did in the first half? Yeah, and we we changed some things. We read some things. We got, you know, obviously you get some stops. You get in transition. You can get, you know, get some easy ones. We, I think fast break 
points. I don't have it in front of me, but I think that was one big advantage we had. Um, you know, so once you get stopped, you know, now you get, you know, get into transition. We're pretty good in transition. If you look at analytics, we're one of the tops in the country on, a, on efficiency with that. Um, you know, with that, that kind of that ball screens and secondary break kind of things. Uh, so, you know, I think that helped him. And then he just was a little more stronger with the ball and reacted to them and started reading their switches. And uh, we, I guess we took advantage of some of that. I, we had a, but we scored a lot of points in the half, but not enough to win. Thanks, Bruce. Yep. Uh, next, uh, next question to Ryan Black. Hey, uh, Bruce, just how, how much did your game plan have to change when you when you learned that Marquise wasn't going to be a go tonight? Well, you know, we kind of knew about midweek. Oh. And, uh, you know, so you – but we didn't, you know, it, it, it's just – the thing I, I've said, I said, uh, I think with Wyatt on the pregame, it's been so difficult that – we've had to keep changing, you know, from Nigel being out to Davion being out to Selton being out to Mike being out now Marquise being out, um, you know, and each time you, you think you're getting some rhythm consistency and we haven't been able to do that. Uh, you know, I, and, and there's, I, I don't, I, I, we can't control it, obviously. Um, you know, I, I would hope some point in the season, we have some consistency and, and it's going to help us with executing running things. Um, knowing where we should be, who playing off of who, and uh, you know, I, I think that hopefully that will come as we move forward. Thank you, Bruce. That's all I had tonight. All right, thank you. Uh, next question of Michael Goins. Yeah, Bruce, do you know what Marquis' situation was over the holidays? How he contracted this? No, I it, it, did he no, go home to New York? To be honest, you know? yeah, he did. They all went home except Mark, so. And I think you see around the country, a lot of West Virginia had guys out. Obviously, Oklahoma had guys out. TCU shut down. Oklahoma State shut down uh, around the country. I think it was 70-some programs. Obviously, we were going to play North Florida. Theirs was a contact trace. Um, but um, I, I, I'd like to tell you it's going to slow down, but I'm not sure that is going to happen. And, you know, we're doing our best of, you know, you know, I, it'll be interesting when the students come back to campus. To, to, for me, right now, we can kind of isolate our guys. Like last year, not quite as bad. We're, we're not – we ate in restaurants only if we have, you know, our own room where we're away from other people. Uh, the guys, there's not much going on on campus. They missed New Year's Eve last night because we were here, although the hotel was overwhelmed by uh, some convention. Um you know, but even then we talked about getting masks and staying out of the, everybody, you know, staying in your room. So um, I'm not sure. Obviously, I think there's a lot of people that are asymptomatic. Um, for the most part, Marquise was asymptomatic, had a little, little bit of symptoms, but uh, feels pretty good. And, you know, it'll be nice, hopefully, to get them back sooner than later. But we'll just have to see how things go. And you feel like you've built your depth to an extent that uh, you can survive the loss of one player? Um, you know, I, I mean, he didn't get a win. Uh, I wish we would have played better. I wish some guys would have played better. I think for me, more than anything, you know, I, I, if you look at it, when, before the game, you start analyzing players and matchups, and our bench has been pretty good. And, and that should have been our advantage, but it, obviously it wasn't uh, tonight. Uh, Mike got some, uh, but we just, you know, we didn't get enough from everybody else. Thank you, Travel Safe. Yep. Grant, question. Uh, next question for Grant. Hey, Coach, what did you think of Nigel Pack's final shot? You know, open look, but from really deep. How do you think that went? Yeah, you know, it's a play we run, and, and he's, like I said, I'd, I'd rather have that one up there. We might crash. We got a hand on it. They were able to get it. Um, if you're going to win, win games on the road in the, in the big 12, somebody has got to make some big shots. And, and, you know, it was, it was open. It was a long way. You know, he practices those when he misses, you're surprised. And, 
you know, I thought they were physical with him first half and kind of got him out of rhythm a little bit. And he, even when he was open, he kind of forced it. Uh, but the second half did a better job of, uh, you know, getting being a little more patient, playing strong with the ball. We got him open a little bit. Some other guys made good passes to him, got him some looks. Uh, but we need, you know, he, we need him to be better than five for 15, uh, to be honest. And, um, you know, that hopefully, uh, you know, again, he, He's missed, missed time, and, and, you know, he went whatever. He's had a long stretch with that one game in between. So, uh, you know, it's it, you know, all, just, all you can do is just stay positive with them and hope we can get them tougher and come back on Tuesday and got to play to, got to play a game of our life to, you know, at, at home. So we'll see. And then Selton, you know, was so consistent all the way up until that knee strain. It was, is it as simple as that, that knee strain from a couple of weeks ago? Yeah, and I think just, you know, now you get out of rhythm, you get out of your uh, role a little bit, trying to figure it out. Um, you know, teams, teams scout you. And, and now, you know, they, and you get in the league, they really scout you. Um, and so now he's got to adjust and, you know, we talk about a lot with him and even Mark, some of the guys, the little things, setting up your cut, setting up the ball screen, reading the, the you know, all those little things. Cause it's not like high school where you can just go, you know, you have to, you got to read stuff. So, um, you know, that, that we're, that's where he, I think he can make improvement with that. And then last thing I got for you is how frustrating is it to see a guy like Elijah Harkless who, came into the game not shooting that well and then just goes off against you guys. Yeah, and again, you know, I said you're going to win games in the league. Somebody's got to jump up and make big plays. They they made some big plays, but we gave them those extra opportunities with the rebounds. Um, Harkless, you know, he, he you can just tell. You can tell they, they play with big hearts. They play their butts off. Go wire. It seems to be a good leader, um, you know, for them. Uh, Harkless Hill. Gibson, they, they very, very cut in. Um, and, uh, you know, that's why they've had success so far and why they got a win against us today. Thank you, Coach. Yep. Anything else for Coach before? Thank you. Thank you, Coach. Thank you. Thank you, Coach.